you can give us one quote on the lineup change and we can let you go. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, well, I just, if you guys know, I like to mix it up a little bit. I haven't been doing it all that much this year. I thought maybe get both of them going, both Ronda and OG and Love with a big matchup, maybe a little bit more of a banging type guy for, for Ronda to start on. And it seemed like it worked out okay. They both, both played really well tonight. I like the energy from both of them. Does the OG in the position he's more familiar playing? That's yeah. more forward. Is that a factory as well? Yeah, it did. I think I think that's an interesting <laughs> part of it, right? That that um, you know, out of position sometimes is, is out of position and, and getting him back there, getting him more comfortable. But again, I just I just like the yeah, I thought he was he, both of them. I just thought both of them were more focused, way more energetic. They were down in garden, they were rebounding. You know, when you're like that, other good things, you know, you're shooting, you're making some strong moves and stuff seem to follow. Were you trying to send a message to you all by starting out? No, not at all. Is, is this something that, uh, that you'll be getting kind of like going forward now? Is it like a getting on day to start? Um, I don't know. I, I, mixing up the starting lineup here for a little bit is something you're probably going to see. Right? I'm just, I'm just going to see what it, what it looks like and feels like uh, depending on who we're playing a little bit and um, go from there. What thoughts of Rondé and yeah. him combined his family with Kyle said he's very lucky. Is that something that you want to use more? Like, is it potential there? Yeah, you know what? He's, he's a, he's a, well, he's a, it's an interesting thing for me because I think he's a decent offensive player. I know it looks a little like, um, what's the word? Unsmooth. What's the <laughs> It's unsmooth sometimes, but it's effective, right? So. So I, I, you know, even even like he's a pretty good post player. He's a good cutter around the basket. He he, he ran a lot of those um, kind of the, the flip behind play where he drives the lane hard in the preseason for him. He did a pretty good job. So he just busted some of that a little bit of that out again. It was good good read by Kyle actually. But they, he didn't think they'd switch it, and if they did, it'd be a, a real little guy that probably could take inside. When they did, Karen's been seeing more. Okay, obviously not affected by the end of the game yet. Yeah, which is good. Yeah, he, I mean he's a shooter, right, Doug? And we need him to we need him to vault up and take him when he's got him. And and he found some rhythm tonight. I think we got a couple set plays for him too. He made those, so that's a good sign. And yeah, it's good that he came out and, and put that one in the past. It's history and moved on. You might have a word located right down your bench. You got an open three and then another one in the far corner. Yep. That's the kind of intuitive play you need him to make. The first, yeah, the first one was really good. It has a tough shot. He, he relocated almost too deep there in the corner. He, he didn't really have much real estate left, so not an easy shot to make. Um, again, he vaults up and gets some pretty good vision on those because of his athleticism. And then the sec after he hit a couple there, the second one was a little set play out of a timeout we had. And, and he, he stepped right into it and made it. It was great. We good? All right. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.